Hey guys, it's Shara from Woodshop Diaries. If you've been following along, you know that last year we built our garage apartment house to live in while we built our forever home next door. Our old house had a couple of steps that we would sit on, but this new house is just a slab on grade. So our porch is just concrete, and lately when the weather has been nice, I've been hanging out on the concrete or sitting in the back of my truck, like in the bed of the truck. Um, I think our neighbors are starting to question my sanity, so I thought it might be a good idea to build a set of chairs to um, chill on the front porch like normal people. I wanted something sturdy and modern, but something that was also pretty inexpensive. So I made these chairs from standard construction lumber and used dowels and a few wood screws and wood glue to assemble them. I've got the downloadable plans and all the details at the link in the description below, so if you're ready to get building, keep watching to see how these came together. I built these chairs from 2x4s and 2x6s. The first thing I did was plane the boards and then square off the rounded edges of all the boards. This isn't necessary, but it makes the surfaces much cleaner and the glue joints more seamless. Once all the boards were prepared, I took the 2x6s over to the miter saw and cut them with a slight 5 degree miter on each end. Each side of the chair used three 2x6 boards plus a smaller foot piece at the front. I'll explain the foot piece a little later. I laid the boards out on my workbench and used a square to mark where I would be putting my dowels. I didn't measure this exactly to space them any specific distance apart, but I just simply eyeballed and marked. Then I used my dowel jig to drill dowel holes at each mark on the boards and assembled with wood glue and dowels. I like using dowels and it's a pretty simple method of joinery, but if you prefer another option, pocket holes and screws would also work. Just bear in mind that you'll see the pocket holes unless you plug them. I made two of these pieces, one for each side of the chair. And now is a great time to remind you that the plans can be found in the link in the description below. So if you want all of the measurements and all the details of everything you need to know how to build these chairs, um, be sure to click the link in the description below. Also, if you're looking for other project ideas, be sure to check out my website, woodshopdiaries.com, and of course my YouTube channel. While those dried, I cut two smaller pieces of 2x6 to use as the foot pieces of the chair. I cut these with the same 5 degree miter as the other boards and once the glue had dried on the main sections, I laid the foot out and marked again where I wanted to put my dowel holes to attach this piece. Then I used dowels and wood glue to attach the feet onto the main sections. While that was drying, I moved on to making the back of the chair. The remainder of the chair is assembled using 2x4s. I cut two pieces for the sides of the back first, then I tapered them. This is totally optional, I just really like the way that the taper looked. I don't have a tapering jig for my table saw, so for this, I just drew a line where I wanted to taper it and carefully cut it out with my circular saw. A jigsaw probably would have worked better, but I didn't have a blade long enough for the 2 by material. Next time, I'll try to be a little more prepared. But the tapering, tapering idea was kind of a last minute decision and I didn't think it through all the way. Anyway, once both side pieces were tapered, I laid out the back design on my workbench to make sure everything would fit. And then I started marking where to place the dowels for the back vertical slats, just like I did for the side pieces. Then I used my dowel jig to drill dowel holes at all the marks and assembled the back like shown using wood glue and dowels. By the way, if you like my workbench, my planner stand, or my miter saw stand that you've seen in this video, be sure to check out those build videos as well on my channel and on my blog, woodshopdiaries.com. And if you aren't already, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on all the new do-it-yourself projects as they come out. Once the back slats were glued and dried, I added the tapered side pieces. I used dowels at the top and screws at the bottom since the screws would be covered later. You could use dowels for both if you wanted, or you could use screws for both if you wanted. Um, you'll just see the screw holes if you use screws at the top.
And also, I apologize that I'm totally in the way of the camera here trying to show you how I screwed the bottom side in place. My bad. I clamped the back piece together while the glue was drying and moved on to the chair sides. I needed to do a few more things before they were 100% done. One of those things is that I marked 5 8 inches from the bottom back corner and drew a straight line from that mark to the front corner like shown. Then I used my circular saw to cut along these lines so that the chair side would slant a little bit backwards. I also used my circular saw to trim up the front and back edges a little and then gave them a good sanding. Once all the glue had dried and everything had been sanded well, I started assembling. Just kidding, I stained the sides in the back first because that will make things way easier on me later. Also, just an FYI, I used an indoor stain for this, but later I'll finish it with an outdoor sealant to protect the wood. Then it was time for assembling. I made a mark three inches in from the back of the side of the chair and lined up the back of the chair along this line. Then I glued and screwed it in place. The chair seat slats will have to be attached somewhere, so I used 2x2s two along the sides of the chairs to attach the slats on the final step. I just glued and screwed these 2x2 two two runners in place, keeping them parallel to the top of the chair sides. I mounted the ends of the 2x2s two so that the front apron piece will be perpendicular to the ground when they are finished, but that's just a personal preference. They don't actually have to be mitered. For the front apron piece, I glued and screwed a 2x4 into the front of these runners, leaving 1.5 inches of it above the top of the 2x2. That's so that when I add the seat slats, they'll all sit flush. I flipped the chair over and attached the back piece, the runner, and the front apron the same way on the other side of the chair using wood glue and screws. Once this was done, the last thing that remains are the seat slats. Before adding those, I went ahead and stained the apron and the runners, then added 2x4 seat slats staining as I went. It's a lot easier to stain things before everything's assembled. I know this from experience. Um, for the seat slats, I just eyeballed the spacing and then screwed them in place. Then I brought it out to the porch to see how it looked. I actually built two of these and stained them different colors as you can see because I didn't know which stain color I liked better. That was kind of a dumb idea because then I had to go back and re-stain both chairs the opposite color to try to get them to blend in and match. That was kind of a waste of time, but oh well, live and learn. To finish them off and protect them from the elements, I gave them a couple coats of an outdoor polyurethane and now they're ready for those summer evenings and all of my blog working sessions. This has got to be way better than hanging out in the bed of my truck. And by the way, if you like the concrete planter pot that you see here, be sure to check out the video on that on my YouTube channel next. So if you're ready to get building, be sure to head over to the blog for the downloadable plans and all of the details. And if you like this video, I'd love for you to leave a comment or a thumbs up and check out my other projects on my YouTube channel and on my website, woodshopdiaries.com. Until next time, happy building.